kind of interesting how about two years ago and before I just had no idea that spirituality the spiritual path spiritual concepts what to do what's the meaning of suffering um, the explanations of why what we're why we're suffering you know as if these spiritual teachers actually have the answer um, what the right way to deal with your suffering is um, I just had no idea that it was brainwashing in a way like it was just more accumulation of knowledge and ways to be ways to appear and if you're I don't know more patient and silent and calm it's better you know there can be an unconscious feeling that that's true or belief that that's true and there can be a stuckness with that so I'm not saying that it can't be helpful like parts of it can be helpful I suppose but it's really difficult to separate what's helpful and what's just made up nonsense and I don't know a way to gain followers or a way a way to feel special you know maybe the teacher does have this need to feel special which means that they're still the the person because the specialness is the person the meaning is the person the the purpose and the t the timeline and the knowing of what's happening why it's happening how to deal with this a lot of it is or every all of it is the person this kind of certainty you know a solidity and i know so there can be this wanting to appear special to gain this kind of respect from others and perhaps even a liking of the attention and the admiration or the feeling that you're something higher, better, more holy. And um, it's just obvious now that that's all the person. I mean, I guess it's weird to say that because the person isn't an actual thing, but it's all just this um, this need that's within, that's getting fed. Because if that wasn't there, um, I could be totally wrong, but I just don't see how that would feel good or necessary to have that. It's just not needed. Nothing is being fed by that attention and admiration and putting oneself on a pedestal it just doesn't feel yeah needed in any way um, so I'm not saying that just common respect for everyone because it's not like they're lower than you it's just that they're not better than you they're not higher than and it's devastating for the person to really see for themselves that everything's equal. Like there isn't an actual 
thing or entity there that can be defined and um, valued as more or less, you know? Like, that's not what reality really is. It's all... It's made up. The other thing is, though, like, when you're following someone, that might feel really comfortable and really familiar. It might feel right. Um, because we're definitely conditioned, programmed, used to having an authority figure, a teacher, someone above to look up to, to get the answers from, to trust, to believe in. And, you know, energetically in the body, what it's doing is giving you a safety ground. It's allowing your nervous system or your sense of safety to be fulfilled for a while. And that's what happens in life with everything. That's why, that's usually why we go for the next thing. Um, more degrees or more acknowledgement, more fame, more um, just more of stuff. And you know, to function in society, I there's nothing wrong with getting um, a certification or something like that to to fit in in that way, to be understood by the mass in that way. I don't see anything wrong with that, but there's this completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> um, So just like everything else, uh, yeah, the spiritual path is, it, it fits into your paradigm in a way. It feels comfortable, familiar, it gives you this uh, feeling of safety at least for a while, but like everything else, it's also a bummer because um, you can see for yourself that it was all made up, it, eventually, potentially. You don't have to, but I can see how it becomes such a trap. It becomes such a, another constructed made up world. And then it, you know, you have to deconstruct it. If, if there's um, a going toward freedom, a going toward like truth, whatever that means, or what, what reality really is, you know, how, how raw and unadulterated it is by all these concepts and made up made up things. And when you when you follow a spiritual path for a long time, then it becomes your reality, it becomes truth, and so then it's really hard to see beyond it. It might take a while sometimes to de-brainwash yourself, to unlearn that stuff. And again, it might have served a purpose before in the story when perhaps you were immensely suffering or 
you needed an answer for now. You needed something to believe in. You needed some safety ground, some hope. Um, and if I had to describe energetically what was happening, which I wasn't predicting or controlling, it just seemed like my body was able to find some security in something and therefore another thing was able to fall away um, And then eventually the the capacity in the body or it seems to expand or get used to intensity like intense emotions intense loneliness anger sadness confusion frustration it just seems to um, I don't know, get used to it or I know it's going to vary for everyone but it seems like <laughs> I don't think this is even true it felt like I kind of knew that that was the way that finding a solid answer and some some security and another belief system, another perspective from a person. I kind of knew that that wasn't the answer. I kind of knew that it would prolong the dream. I kind of knew that it was delusion again. So as uncomfortable as it was or how scary it was, I don't know. All that could happen was a deeper and deeper okayness with what was, which was often confusion and frustration and not knowing what the hell is happening and kind of wanting an answer, but all the answers I was given, it's still like it didn't land anywhere in a way. Maybe it gave some comfort in the moment, but it eventually also was gone and I don't know how that how long that lasted for a while it came and went it changed it never really made it not this um, And now there's nothing that relates to anything, you know? There's nothing that is fearful because that sense lost everything. And in that loss of everything, it felt like I, who I thought I was, felt like the biggest failure you know in the story in the supposed end of the story you feel like a failure because you don't really get what you want you don't attain more you know you don't in a way like you can you can see the improvement you can see how you have grown and learned and you've gotten really far and you've done a lot and you've it's hard it's hard living in an illusion or as the illusion and it's just difficult so you did amazing so I'm not trying to diminish that 
but in the complete end of the story you know you don't go on you don't go on believing that you're still achieving things and gaining things and um, continuing your story it it diminishes it dissolves it disappears so So then, as the fear and the loneliness keep coming up wherever it needs to, you know, it's triggered by life. The greatest teacher of all, I guess, you know, is just life. It's simple. It's very simple. So it felt like everything was, in a way, used here to empty out even more to dissolve all the little bits of remnants of hopes and dreams that had its ripples in all these different ways and um, it wasn't necessarily easy but in a way it felt easier so I was used to it now. I was used to crying. I was used to grieving. I, I understood that this is what awakening actually is, is a death of the familiar, of what you thought you were, who you thought you were, what you thought reality is, you know, like that's, that's more akin to a death than an awakening. It's not like the person awakens. Um, So like, so then in the death, in the death of me, um, then it, it seems to, to shift into such gratitude or like, a lot of the times what arises is like, thank God everything dissolved. Everything's gone. Like, thank God my need for awakening or something better, something to fulfill me, a better version of me, to attain more, to achieve more, all of that died. There's no more striving in that way. Thank God I don't need to prove myself anymore. Um, thank God I don't need to get a partner. Thank God I don't need to manipulate life and try to make it appear appear more worthy. All of it is gone. All of it doesn't make sense anymore. All of it is not real. And so living does still happen. And I would say overall, it's just from um, a very calm and peaceful place, but but it, it's just ironic how spirituality kind of makes you feel bad for
Yeah, it kind of feels, makes you feel bad for... not being that way. It's just a shame. Because you have to go through a lot of, in a way, turmoil. Because the person's so used to being put together. Even if it's in a really fake and forced way, it believes that it's really put together. But when you go through this, you'll be the least put together ever, probably in your life. So you're not gonna appear peaceful or calm, even though there can be an understanding. Um, Anyways, yeah, you don't have to do anything, but um, if you want to go all the way, you got to let go of the spiritual path. And I know it's not you that can actually do it, but hearing certain things can pop that bubble because oh man it's all made up nonsense all of it